G'day. We're going to look at this AMD Radeon Pro W6600. It's a professional workstation production graphics card. Now I have looked at its bigger brother, which is the Radeon Pro W6800. Now if you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out after this. Now this also runs off the new RDNA 2 architecture and this one has 8 gigs of VRAM. And it also has the new features like the bigger brother, which is the new hardware ray tracing and all of its functions. Now, before I get started, I also want to make a big mention that this card aesthetically looks very pleasing. I love the look of this nice deep blue and it's just there. The other thing that also gave me a bit of a, a nice little eye opener is how slim this production class is. It's actually very slim compared to the 6800 and also very slim compared to all of the NVIDIA Quadro cards that I've played with. So that is, again, definitely give you a big tops for AMD for making a nice, gorgeous card. Unfortunately, a lot of these cards, which is a production and all in a workstation, you won't be able to see it because a lot of times workstation class computers will have sides closed. So it's a bit of a pity, but still, at least AMD had made a very nice effort in it. The Radon Pro W6600 only uses one six pin PCIe, which should be quite easy to find in a workstation class computer or a lot of the desktop computers. The workstation that I use to benchmark the W6600 is the Lenovo ThinkStation P620. So that's kind of a bit of a, like a typical workstation you may see this card in. And that one's configured with an AMD Threadripper Pro 3975X with 64 gigs of RAM. So it'll put up the scores for PassMark, 3DMark, Geekbench 5, Luxmark, Blender, Thermark, ComputeBench, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Premiere Pro, Pugin After Effects, Pugin DaVinci Resolve, and Spec View Prep. With the temperatures and fan noise of the Radon Pro W6600, now when I took my measurements, my ambient temperature was 24 degrees Celsius and my ambient room noise was at 38 decibels. So I took the measurement when the computer was on idle and the noise out of that computer was 41 decibels. Now as of the temperature of the W6600 core, you're looking at an average of 38 degrees Celsius and the memory was also at 38 degrees Celsius and the fan was running at 1500 RPMs. The 41 decibel may sound loud but that's really coming out of the CPU and the memory fan in the P620. So the graphics card was practically for me near silent. So I put the computer on 20% load and the noise out of the computer was still at 41 decibels. As for the GPU core, you're looking at 39 degrees Celsius. And also the VRAM, you're looking at 39 degrees Celsius. And the fan was at 1500 RPMs. So barely made a sweat. Then I put the graphics card on 50% load and the noise out of the computer rose up to 43 decibels. And as for the GPU core, you're looking at 54 degrees Celsius and the GPU memory looking at 55 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it was ranging between 1500 RPMs to 1700 RPMs. So most of the times it was staying at 42 decibels at 1500 RPMs. Then I put the graphics card at 100% load and the maximum noise that came out of the computer was 48 decibels. And as for the GPU core, it rose up to 87 degrees Celsius. And as for the GPU memory, it went up to 98 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise on the GPU, it went up to 3,800 RPMs. For me, that 48 decibels was quite quiet for a production card. So I ramped up the fan to 100% load for its max which is 6,100 RPMs, and the noise out of the computer 
hit a maximum of 58 decibels. I still had 100% load on the graphics and the GPU core dropped down to 65 degrees Celsius. And as for the memory, it went down to 74 degrees Celsius with the maximum fan. The AMD Radeon Pro W6600 at its price point, as of this recording here in Australia, it's around about $1,100. Now, have a look at its competitors and about the same sort of similar price point is its NVIDIA Quadro A2000. Now, that actually comes in two variants, which is the 6 gigs and the 12 gigs. Now, the 6 gig here in Australia, again, as of the time of this recording, we're looking at $1,000. And for the 12 gigs, you're looking at about $1,350. That's fair about. So this is kind of smack in the middle. Now I'm gonna address the other thing, the elephant in this room. Now with the Quadro A2000, that RAM is ECC. Now this eight gigs is non-ECC. So that is something you gotta take in consideration. So hopefully AMD does have a look at maybe making this with ECC RAM, especially being a professional workstation class. But I still think this is doing extremely well and very nicely decent for its price point and its performance. So definitely not too bad at all. I hope you found this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, or even to support my channel, smack that like button for me. It does help me out. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button as well. I do try to upload a new video every week. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.